Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. I'm Kevin McNew. It's Monday, June 12th, and a down day in the markets to start the week. Corn was off 10, beans off 10, and Chicago wheat off 12. We came back from the weekend, looked at the weather maps, and saw some rain in South Dakota, North Dakota, and the upper Midwest and a long-range forecast for the next few weeks that shows slightly cooler temperatures, some moisture potential in some key growing areas. So that got the market started negative uh, going out of the chute on Sunday night, and we just continued to erode into today's session and all the way into the close, with corn closing down at the low end of the range today. You know, other news out today, there was corn export sales that were announced by USDA, 130,000 metric tons to unknown destinations. There's also quite a bit of export interest over the weekend and overnight, uh, with Israel being in the market, Egypt being in the market, and Saudi Arabia doing an 800,000 metric ton wheat deal. Uh, that will be optional origin for North America, South America, and uh, the EU. So that was uh, certainly some good news, but really all eyes are on the weather. As we go into tonight, uh, USDA crop progress will come out. Keep in mind that last week we got a little shock, uh, especially in spring wheat ratings that slipped quite dramatically. Traders are looking for a 2% drop in spring wheat ratings from 55% last week to 53% this week. In corn, they look for a 1% drop from 68% last week to 67% this week. And the first ratings of soybeans for the year are expected to come in at 70%. Let's take a look at the weather maps provided by our good friends at Planalytics. And let's start first of all with what the week ahead uh, should hold in store in terms of temperature and precipitation. In this case, temperature is on your left and precipitation on your right. You can see the green areas in the northern plains, upper Midwest, especially the upper Midwest, it sh should see more active rainstorms. Uh, over the weekend, the, the Dakotas got about a quarter inch of rain, so nothing uh, earth shattering there, but certainly it was enough to sort of uh, shake the stem of, of real concern about the drought in the northern plains. Uh, the next storm system should come uh, midweek, and then after that it sort of dries out in the northern plains. The heat uh, temperature situation will continue to be pretty robust this week with uh, temperatures running quite a bit above normal. Looking ahead to next week, the pattern sort of um, minimizes a little bit with the heat starting to let off in the, in the western part of the Corn Belt and some more moisture coming to the east and southeast. So overall, when we look at these maps and we look at these forecasts, what we're sort of seeing is pretty good growing conditions, nothing that's really alarming. Uh, you know, yes, it'll still be dry in the Dakotas, but they are getting some moisture at least uh, with a couple of different systems that we'll be moving through over the next couple of weeks. So that was really enough to keep the market on a defensive tone, especially after last week's rally. Uh, let's take a look at export inspections that are um, that came out this morning from USDA. These numbers were quite robust for soybeans and for wheat, wheat uh, having its first week of the new crop 2017 marketing year coming in at a very healthy 778,000 metric tons, well above expectations 500 to 625, and soybeans also doing respectable at 508. Corn coming in at the low end of the range. And like I said, really, you know, that news was certainly positive, but all eyes is really on, on the uh, weather situation. When we took take a look at the hourly corn chart here, this goes back to last week, and I've got circled in red sort of when we got the news of the crop condition scores in corn that were below normal or below what traders were looking for. And that really, in conjunction with the outlook last week for drier weather in the plains and a lot of heat in the forecast, got the market really sort of excited with, with these corn getting up into the 406, 407 range. But you can see today, uh, you know, starting last night, we basically, you know, came into the open last night and, uh, you know, very much just continued to slide all the way down until the close today. So overall, you know, it was certainly a down day. Um, you know, there may be more downside, but I think traders will really watch closely what those crop condition scores look like, how much damage did we see in spring wheat, was there a, a the down tick in the corn crop condition rating for guidance going ahead in the rest of the week. That's all we've got for today on Grain TV. As always, if you'd like to learn more about how we can help you lower your trade commission to only $7 a side, visit us online at grainhedge.com. Have a great day. We'll talk to you on Tuesday.